We've had the wintry temperatures. Now we could be talking about wintry precipitation this evening. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. And that will lead off our weekend scoop. A burst of rain or snows possible between 7 to 11 p.m. on Friday here. Saturday's not as windy as our Friday, but just as cold. Temperatures even a degree or two colder than what we saw on Friday. And then another burst of rain or snow is possible between 9 p.m. to 2 a.m., on our Saturday night, and then that gives way to a frigid Sunday, and we'll be lucky to get above 32 when it comes to our wind chills here. The reason why we are cold and then getting colder is because two cold fronts have passed in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, about a mile high. That first cold front did pass midweek. This next cold front is going to pass as we go into our Saturday night, so that's going to bring that brief possible burst of rain or snow, and then we get that strong northwesterly wind and we do get a swipe of that cold air, especially during the middle of the day on Sunday here. And then it slowly retreats as we go into our Sunday night and Monday here. Monday's still cold. Tuesday, we start to moderate. So here's a look at our future cast and our winds. Let's get you to maybe that snow time here. This is Friday at 9 p.m. You see some darker shades of blue. What probably happens is it could start as rain. And then as it gets intense, it actually cools down into snow here. And then you get that for, like I said, no more than a half hour. Now, if you do see the snow, you could see a coating, but that would be it. Nothing really impactful. Just more of a wintry wonderland with lots of photos, I'm sure, on social. And you can share those with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok below. Then as we go into Saturday morning, good amount of sunshine. Winds, again, not as strong here. We're sustained 10 to 15 miles an hour. And then here's burst number two. Most of this should stay to our north, so if you're north of... The expressway, thinking about Little Lake Harbor or you're in Jackson Township. That's where you could see another brief burst of snow overnight. And then as we go into Sunday, much windier. You see those sustained winds, 20 miles in Stafford, 25 along the shore here. It's going to stay like that and increase as we go into our Sunday. And then we'll slowly weaken as we go into our Sunday night. Here's a look at those wind chills. So this is in the 30s here. It's not that unusual for the middle part of November, but... Wind chills around 20 to kick off our Saturday in Hamilton. Yeah, a little more unusual there. Wind chills in the 20s everywhere to start. During the middle of the day, we'll be in the 30s. Then we go right back down, especially as those winds kick up on Sunday, or excuse me, Saturday night here. Wind chills in the teens in Deerfield, Philadelphia, Hamilton. Even ship bottom, 23 degrees. That's what it will feel like on our Sunday morning. And even during the middle of the day, wind chills only in the 20s here. And that will continue into the evening and with those winds we do have a gale watch in effect for the waters here as we go into our sunday for most of the day for tonight it's a brief rain or snow burst possible between 7 to 11 p.m otherwise it's a mainly clear night we go into our weekend planner we see saturday mid 40s here sunday upper 30s stronger winds on sunday for sure and even stronger at the coast again wind chill is going to be in the 20s during all day long on Sunday here, even with that sunshine. Then we'll get you to our travel day forecast here. Most of the country actually looking good. A couple of exceptions would be, you see Georgia and Alabama with a few showers. Even that's nothing really that will cause any delays. Some stronger winds in the Northern Rockies. So if you're going to Montana or you're going to Wyoming, and I'm going to say most of us probably aren't, that would be where you have those issues. You see this is GFS model pretty much painting the same story. Let's get into our inland seven-day forecast for you here. Temperatures will be in the 40s for Monday here, and then we're back in the 50s as we go into the rest of our Thanksgiving week. Thanksgiving looks to be seasonable, though on the cloudy side, and then that trend continues with computer guidance, and it does look like there is going to be some storm system during the Black Friday weekend, likely going to be Friday into Saturday here. Should be all uh, rain here, but there could be some strong winds and maybe tidal flooding, but we won't know more of that until we get towards about Monday here. So we'll have a weekend update for you on our Saturday morning. And meanwhile, send me those snow photos on social and you go to our website to sign up for our free daily newsletter at pressofac.com slash weather.